Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting topic for you wedding photographers out there. I'll be talking about the best bride prep poses that every photographer should know. All right, the first pose that I'd like to talk about is the mirror reflection pose. This is a pose that is timeless and iconic. Having the bride look at a reflection and capturing it that way provides depth to the image and it also shows the excitement the bride has for the day to come. When capturing this pose, I always encourage the bride to smile into the mirror, smile at herself, and also I make sure to take this pose from different angles. Always be careful that you don't get anything that you don't want in the reflection and make sure you can't see yourself. So you might have to move around a little bit. It can be tricky, um, but I usually stand off to the side and that way I can just get the bride in the image and I make sure any of the clutter is not in the background. The second pose I'd like to talk about is make up finishing touches. In this pose, it's usually when I, when I arrive at the bride's house when she's just getting the finishing touches put on her makeup. These photos are more candid in nature. It's kind of like a behind the scenes view on the bride getting the finishing touches right before she puts on her dress. I prefer to take these photos when the bride is almost finished getting ready. I like it when the makeup is almost finished. So the ideal pictures for me are getting some lipstick put on at the end of the makeup and hair application or using a brush to maybe put on some powder. I like those kind of images the best. These photos are more candid in nature and they show the process of becoming a bride. My third favorite pose is what I like to call the thoughtful bride. For this pose, I find a location next to a window with soft, natural light. I'll ask the bride to either stand or sit by the window and look outside. This kind of pose captures a serene atmosphere and the calm before the whirlwind of the wedding day begins. I like to do this pose after the bride has put on her dress and her accessories. Once I get the bride into the pose that I want, I will ask her to switch it up so she could start by looking out the window and then she could look directly at me at the camera. Maybe she could look down. You can do a bunch of different things so that you have some variety in your gallery. Pose number four is about the bouquet. Ideally, all of the bouquets will be delivered to the getting ready location while the bride is getting ready. That way you can use the bouquets in the images and it looks really nice in detail photos as well as bridal portraits. Once the bride is in her wedding gown, I will hand the bouquet to her. Usually the bouquet has been sitting in water, so I always dry off that additional water using like a hand towel. Then I'll hand the bouquet to her. I'll take photos of her just holding the bouquet, looking at the camera. It's also nice if I ask her to look down at her flowers and I could focus either on her face or on the bouquet. And then I'll take some more close-up images of just the bouquet. So I'll do horizontal, vertical, and then I will also zoom in and take some photos of the bride's hands holding the bouquet. And I make sure to photograph her engagement ring. You can also ask the bride to like interact with the flowers. So looking down at the bouquet and touching the flowers. These type of photos, they all are very romantic and timeless. The fifth essential pose is bridesmaids bonding. I always wanna make sure to capture the special bond between the bride and her bridesmaids. The bridesmaids can be hugging, they could do a champagne toast. There's a few different things you can do. Recently, at the beginning of the getting ready, the brides and bridesmaids are usually in matching robes. I make sure if they're in those robes, I always get a group shot of them together before they get on their dresses. I'll find a spot that is well lit by a window and ask them to group together, sitting or standing close together. And I'll get photos of them laughing. They could do like a cheers, a toast, or they could just be looking at the camera too. So I make sure to get a variety of images. Another great bridesmaid bonding photo is when the bride, after she's gotten into her dress, you can get all of the bridesmaids to gather around her and help zip her up and fluff her dress. 
I love these kind of photos. They're very sweet. They kind of remind me of like a fairy tale princess. I, I think there was a Disney princess scene with this kind of thing. But anyhow, they're very sweet and you can get everyone involved, which is nice. Pose number six is the twirling bride. Depending on the dress and the amount of room that you have, a twirling photo can look great. If the bride is wearing a kind of flowy dress and if there is enough space, I will encourage the bride to do a little twirl or she could just pick up part of her dress and, and move back and forth. These type of shots add some movement and they're very happy and they look great in a wedding album. Pose number seven is the beautiful reflection photo. Once the bride is fully dressed and has her hair and makeup done, you can ask her to look into a mirror and admire her reflection. With this pose, you could have the bride alone or you could have someone important to her helping adjust her dress. I like to get a full body photo and also more close up photos of the bride's face in this situation. Pose number eight is the emotional connection. These are some of my favorite bridal prep photos. You can encourage a bride to have a special moment with a loved one, either a mother, sister, or a friend. I like to ask the bride's mother or the maid of honor, depending on who's there, to zip up the bride's dress right as she's gotten into it. And I always take those photos by a nice big window if I can. Having the bride's special people involved in the photos creates a beautiful, memorable moment. I'll also ask a special person to help the bride put on any jewelry she might be wearing. For example, if she's wearing a necklace, I could ask the maid of honor to help put the necklace on. And then if she's going to be wearing a bracelet, you could ask another bridesmaid to help with that. These more candid photos always have more genuine emotion and they really help tell the story of the wedding day. Pose number nine is the veil flow. Once the veil has been put into the bride's hairstyle, I will ask her to go near a window and then I will adjust the veil different ways to give a real soft look to the images. Usually for inside, as it normally is with getting ready photos, there won't be a ton of space. So I will either have the veil over the bride's face or I hold the veil up by my camera like this and have it swooping towards me. This type of image is very soft and beautiful and for these images, I like to use my 50 millimeter lens at a wider aperture. That way the veil will be blurred out as it comes close to the camera. And so I would use probably F 2.2 or 2.5 for this kind of image. Pose number 10 is what I call the staircase descent. If there is a nice staircase somewhere in the, the home that you're getting ready in, you can ask the bride to slowly descend the staircase once she's finished getting ready. This pose is very graceful, very timeless and dramatic. The bride can be either walking down the stairs or you could ask her to stop and she could pose on the stairs as well. Also, a staircase is a great opportunity for a first look. So you could have a bride and groom first look as the bride descends down the stairs. You could have the bride's father to see her as she descends down the stairs or the bridesmaids could see her. As the bride comes down the stairs, I make sure to capture the bride and her expression as she's coming down. And then I will turn around and capture the expression of whoever is seeing her for the first time. Also, if the bride has a long train on her dress, it's a great photo op to showcase the train. So I like to ask the bride to stand facing, looking up the stairs, and then I'll arrange her train behind her so that it's flowing down the stairs. This pose shows the back of the dress beautifully and it's a very timeless type of image. So there you have it, my top 10 bride prep poses that every photographer should know. Those poses are just a starting point. Some will work for your situation, some won't, and you can, you can use it as a starting point and personalize it to fit your situation and the bride that you are photographing. The key really is to make your clients feel comfortable and try to capture genuine emotion. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.